So now, are you experiencing hair loss and you are wondering if there is a way to save your crown? Well, there is, right? This is Dr. Mark Leong here. I'm really excited today to be, you know, asking one of the best experts in Singapore on what we can do to restore our fluffy hair. So don't watch this unless if you want a lot of hair back. And what are some of the scientific ways to treat hair loss, right? So join me for this very quick conversation. Wow, I, you know, the last time I came here was many years ago. I think it was before COVID. Oh, certainly, It yeah. was really interesting. Mm -hmm. And what, what got you into aesthetics? Of course, firstly, it's interest. I mean, I'm a woman and I'm extremely vain. So I'm always looking for ways to look better. And aesthetic is the best way because it's both an art and a science. I'm so curious today to really learn from you. Yes. You know, what are the ways that we can restore our crown? You mentioned that there is another alternative which mm -hmm. has very little downtime in fact. Right, yes. And can you show us what is that masterpiece of yours that I trust is going to be something that I'm curious and I want to explore myself as well? Yeah, certainly. So with technology, we're going to have much better results that's minimally invasive for hair regrowth. And of course, I must state that this is mainly for people who have experienced mild to moderate hair loss. For those who are completely bald, I'm so sorry, it's not possible anymore because there's no more cells left to stimulate. So this technology that I'm talking about is actually stimulating the scalp follicular tissue to regenerate, repair and replenish so that the hair growth will be back to original or as much as possible to the original amount of hair. Now, yeah. what if our viewers here that are watching wondering if today I'm suffering from alopecia, does this alternative help us as well or it doesn't? Of course, alopecia has many kinds. So the one that we're talking about is more the alopecia due to aging, which means due to loss of hormones. As we age, we know that you know the testosterone as well as estrogen levels starts to fall. Right. And these levels of hormones are important to be maintained as it keeps our cells healthy and younger. So now what happens is these treatments that we have are actually targeting the aging cells of the scalp. And by doing so, the scalp cells will become younger and healthy again. So now let's look at this uh, technology. So this is a very famous technology that marries American as well as Korean uh, science. So what happened is we know that you know we, we try to apply all kinds of active ingredients onto our scalp hoping that it will work yes. to stimulate scalp repair, regeneration and of course hair regrowth. But however, we all know that on our scalp as well like our skin, there's a, what we call a barrier that protects our skin from external forces. Mm. So naturally, whenever we apply, the penetration at best is 3%. Okay, so what I'm talking about now is what we call the uh, micro-needling. But what is more exciting is we have this technology called radio frequency which are measured and completely computerized and we can adjust accordingly based on the scalp tissue uh, thickness, amount of hair loss, whatever, to, for each individual. Only so happens. this is what we call um, the micro RF needle tip. Mm. So these are very, very tiny needles. I would say that I've compared quite a number of different micro needles in the market. Some just made me cry at one go, it's like too, too sharp. But this one is actually a lot um, better. Okay, so you can see that it's taken out from a box because yes. it's actually sterilized. Mm. And then this is uh, what's there. Okay. So these are little needles yes. here. Yes. So I will attach this to this computer. Right. So what happened is when I attach it to the applicator, which is called the handle here, the machine will control the needle. So you will actually see... Uh, Ah, yeah, so you can't I see okay. that. All right. Yes, okay. So the penetration will only be about a th about one or two cm. Yes. Yes. Basically, uh, yeah. And and this is entirely safe. Yes. So actually, as we set the setting, so you can see there are a lot of funny words here, like CWPW. Right. So these are computerized settings that, as a doctor, we actually adjust based on what is needed to be done. You can actually adjust the depth. I'm going to use usually we keep to about point eight. Like very, that means much much lesser than one millimeter. Sometimes we do higher if we realize that the person really have a much thicker scalp. I see. All right. So then, then this can adjust the power. How much power do I want to use? I can adjust. Ah. Okay. If I'm coming in for the treatment here, mm -hmm. do I need to wash my hair first, or it doesn't really matter if I'm applying like something on my head, like wax or gel? Um, no, we we'll strongly recommend that you come with a clean scalp. That means you should be washed the morning itself, mm -hmm. and then we can start doing. And uh, you know, your, your, the, the patient mm. in this case, if I'm going to do this, which I'm mm -hmm. very curious, I'm going, definitely going to try this out. Okay. Uh, I'm going to be laying on the bed, and how long does this procedure take? 
to make it less uncomfortable after all there's so, some micro needles some people didn't feel much tell me it's fine I, I don't bother but those who are a bit more sensitive they can actually uh, take some uh, maybe two tablets of Panadol uh, we, we can apply what we call anesthetic cream or numbing cream for about 15-20 minutes prior to doing and it makes it a lot more comfortable but this is more useful for people with shorter hair because it will be easy to apply but if you have a very long head of hair then we find that it really get very gooey right. so in which case we usually recommend uh, maybe uh, just taking Panadol and of course as we do we can use what we call chiller that with this air that's be blown and then it will cool the sky as you do it so that makes it comfortable I will say that so far our patients who have done it has find it acceptable they can come back like four to six times they do it once a month for four to six sessions and they find it fine all right wow okay I'm gonna be <laughs> I'm gonna be taking my first session uh, very soon and for you guys that are watching we have inserted our links here make sure you check out you know this uh, amazing solution if you are suffering from hair loss and you don't want downtime mm -hmm. and you would like to speak to you know dermatologists and licensed doctors make sure you make an appointment with Dr. Eileen Shao's clinic Clear SK and we have inserted the link in the chat right now and uh, okay. yeah have fun and I'm gonna share with you guys my results as well as I'm gonna be going through this process <laughs> Let's see how it goes, right? But I'm really, very excited. Thank you okay. so much for sharing with us okay, and okay. my audience here. Yeah. All right, and see you soon. Yeah. See you soon.